Alrighty, traders. So let's have a quick uh, market update across the board. We're looking at stock market, gold, silver, and all that down home country goodness. Let's get straight into it. Don't place a trade based on what you're seeing in this video because there is no guarantees of making a profit in the market. It takes you a long time to become a good trader. So this video here is just to educate you to become a much better trader. Alrighty, traders. Let's get straight into it. Um, I want to firstly touch on oh, a few things. Firstly, guys, I'm actually giving away free access to my complete trading course. If you go to um, johnsfreegift.com, when you go there, um, you actually, I'm actually, it's about my whole, my whole, my whole, my whole entire master trader collection. So if you need help with your trading right now, traders, and you are absolutely just doing really bad with your trading right now, then go in there. I promise you, you're gonna love it. Um, and uh, and I'm, I'm getting so much good feedback from that. It's uh, so go go check it out, guys. Again, I'm actually I'm giving you a free, I'm giving you free access to it. Okay? So the thing that I really want to share with you, um, especially right now, traders, if we're looking at the stock market right now, okay, the, we're seeing the futures markets and the stock market, and I've been talking about this now for the last week, okay? I've been just like, expect this market to happen, you know, and look, look what's happening right here, okay? This is exactly what I talked about. Exactly what I talked about was going to come in the stock market. I said, traders, and, it, and I... And I did a video at the last week and I drew a line right here. And I said, if we break below here, it, we are flushing down towards the low through here. And that's exactly what has happened. And so we are continuing to get the flush down. We got the flush down past this level through here and we continue to sell off uh, in, in, in the market. And you see that this is what's happening right now. Now, Again, this is exactly what I expected to happen. This is exactly what I've been talking about on um, on um, on here. And if I go to the NQ as well, too, look at the NQ completely flushing down past these lows through here. Even the Russell, the Russell was completely rolling over as well, too. So we are getting we are getting the capitulation. Or, or not, <laughs> we're not the capitulation is not happening yet, but we are getting that downward movement. Okay, and same for the YM as well too, we're completely rolling over through here as well too, okay? So we're getting a lot of fear in the markets and check this out, right? So looking at the S&P 500, if we have a look at this hourly chart, I really wanna share something with you when it, when it comes to reading these markets, okay? So whenever you're reading these markets, um, what you wanna ask yourself is that, is this a trend change or is this just a pullback? So a trend change, uh, in a downward trend, we have lower highs, right? We have a high, lower high, lower high, lower high, lower high, and then the market market comes off, right? So as you can see, the market just continues to fall and fall and fall and fall. So as you can see, this these these this period through here was this period through here was just the pullback before the market actually just came and sell off, and you're seeing that right now across the board uh, with. With, uh, with, with with all these through here. So we're getting that capitulation, we're getting that flush down, we're getting this movement on the downside right now, and it's just, it's uh, it's actually not looking, it's not it's not looking too pretty. But here is the thing, Trey, here's the thing. One, this is exactly what I called for back here, right? Um, again, and same for the, the NASDAQ as well too. The NASDAQ and even um, even the Russell as well too. What of the Russell, I did a video, I did a, little trend line here and I said, you know what, we're probably getting ready for a movement on the downside now, breaking below here. We had a complete, this whole support level through here. So we have all this support level through here and now we have indeed actually rejected right at that level right there. So you can see we had a big rejection right at that level and then we've had this movement on, on on the downside now. So I'm expecting to see I'm expecting to see more fear in the markets. But to me, traders, we are getting very very close to uh, to a bottom in the markets. Okay, look at the, look at this fear and greed index. Okay, uh, traders, this is this is where this is this is playing out exactly the way that I thought was going to happen. Firstly, we're going to get a flush down below these lows through here, and that's exactly what we're getting right now. We may even get a bit more. Um, from the top to the bottom, from the top to where we are right now, we're looking at 12%. We could even get down to, a, we. Um, I probably have a target right now of around possibly even, even this level through maybe, that's that next level of support in the market. So we're probably gonna run to there. 
but we definitely do have the 17 that's 17 percent level um if we have a if we have a look at the markets through here so that's that level there 13 percent we could we could possibly even have a flush down towards these low levels through here which gives us 17 percent which is not a bear market by the way trends which is not a bear market okay um we could even get a flush down towards these low levels through here so this is ex this is this whole thing traders is working out exactly the way that um that i saw in the markets but here's the thing look at look at the fear and greed index okay and this is what's happening and traders once again throughout the last couple of weeks i've been saying get ready for more downside get ready for more downside get ready for more downside we're gonna flush the lows we're gonna flush the lows um and look what's happening now look what's happening with the fear and greed index we're starting to really 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 start to get down through here so just a little bit more downside and guess where we're gonna be that's right and and what the way this is going to end is probably going to be a capitulation move on the downside it's probably going to be whenever whenever we whenever we like right now we're getting one two percent right we're getting the selling move what we we it may we may even get capitulation today so <clears throat> i don't know but capitulation means it's not going to be like this day right here right this day right here you know we got like what was that there that was just a a two percent it's going to be the capitulation is going to be like a big day see this big day here see how we got like a really big swing here see from if i go from the high to the low that was like a four or five percent down day and then guess what then we had the pullback now we're rolling over so by looking at what we're looking at right now the market's freaking out um we're getting the big pullback we're getting the big volatility and guess what traders i absolutely love this volatility i love it I absolutely love this volatility. Why? Because one, I'm a trader of the markets, but also secondly, um, uh, the I'm I'm a I've been I've, lately anyway. I've been doing a lot of intraday trading: one minute charts, two minute charts, five minute charts, fifteen minute charts, that sort of stuff. And oh my goodness, it has just been an incredible year, traders, for trade in the intraday basis and this and this and this and this and this volatility it's been absolutely amazing um and so um and so that, that's that's what we're seeing through that trades we're completely seeing this here but this trades once again this here wait not yet but we once we get a bit of a capitulation like another another big five or six or seven percent down day yeah, then guess what guys it's it, guess what traders it's going to we're, we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna see a massive slingshot move back to the upside but not yet we're not done yet with the, with this selling yet and again traders if you go back and look at my last videos I've, this is it, what's happening right now is 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 what I, what i'm seeing through here so looking at the uh looking at the um the fear and greed over time you can see what's what's happening right here right wait until you see once we start to get if we can start to get, get get down towards now what would be a blessing in disguise and i'm telling you right now if this happens i am <laughs> yolo baby yolo right i'm just like um you know it's like it's it's like if we start to get down to that 17 percent level right let's actually get a bit of a capitulation move we start to get a bit of a capitulation we start to get down towards this major low level through here <laughs> and we start to get this thing pegged down oh my goodness traders like this right now this is freaking people like that's exactly what happened in, in the you know in the vid situation and we're probably going to get see something like that real 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 soon but guess what traders this is this this is a buying opportunity people are freaking out because they don't know what to look for right and um and the and 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 the map is playing that the the the, the market is playing at exactly the way that i saw it happening in the markets and so uh expect more blood in the streets when it comes to that let's go have a look at the good old gold and gold oh baby gold 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 right now for you guys that have followed me now for geez for probably for the last 12 months I've been saying that when gold breaks, when really when, when gold finally breaks out of this level here, we're going to see some really big moves. So those who are patient, and I, and if if you guys remember that I, I do the illustration right, when the market goes quiet for a long time, we end up getting what? That's right, we end up getting some really big moves out of the markets. And you can see, look what's happening here with gold now. Gold is actually just this is the alley chart with gold. Um, 
I haven't actually had too many intraday trades on gold lately, but that's 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 just what's happening on gold right now. Big, 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 big breakout, and this is exactly what I saw happening. The big thing with gold, though, is that if I go to my monthly chart, is guess what is forming right now, or guess what is playing out right now. That is what, say it with me, ladies and gentlemen, that's right, the cup and handle is starting to play out. I have a 3,000 target on gold, and the cup and handle is now starting to play out, and we're getting ready. After all this time, um, and traders, I've been, I've been long gold this whole, whole entire time, right? I've been buying and holding, buying, holding. But this big cup and handle pattern, right? That has been, that a, a lot of people have, um, a lot of people have been seeing as well too, we're starting to play out. And now guess what? We're starting to get that resistance becoming major, 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 major support on gold as well too. That's huge traders. Look what's happening now. We get, we've had that pullback. We're now developing what? Look at this here. This is just huge, right? Huge in the markets. Look at this here. So that was that, that level through there. As you can see, so we had a bit of a bit of a movement down, more downside there. So let's actually use that say say that area through there. But look at this here, this whole resistance back here. This is a monthly chart, traders. Monthly charts back here, and then we came down, found support, found support, found support, found support. Look what's happening now. We're starting to break out. What does that mean? If the way the markets work, and I've talked about this for quite some time, is this: when the market goes for a run like it did here, it needs some time to rest. This just had a lot of time <laughs> and now we're starting to break out. So gold is definitely on my little radar list that, I've been, that I'm going to keep, that, that I'm watching now because there's going to be some incredible, incredible, incredible trades on gold um, on a short-term basis, like on a short-term trading opportunity. But guys, I'm, I've, been, I've, been, I've been long gold now since, geez, <laughs> back here in... 2019. Actually, no, that's not true. I sold, bought, to, bought in 2019, then I sold up here in 2020, and then mid last year I started to buy more um, as well too. So, uh, and that's what's happening now. Looking at silver as well too. Silver is actually starting to break out, so we're starting to get very, very, very strong buying legs out of these markets, and we're now starting to see this thing starting. We're starting to change some some tune and some trend as well too. The worst thing you want to do though, traders. Okay, the worst thing you want to do is by looking at these markets right now, is don't chase, if you are not in gold, right? If you are not in gold, um, you don't buy gold now, why? Because traders, the worst time to buy something is what? When it's already going up. You just, the, this market's been going up for quite some time here. You don't know when what, you don't know when the top's gonna be. Look what happens, every time we get a big move up, we get pullbacks, big move up, we get pullbacks. We Big move up, we get pullbacks. Now it may just pull back a little bit through here and then go back through there again, okay? So traders, don't be FOMO. No FOMO, no FOMO, no FOMO, okay? Put the mouse down, throw out the window, put in the pool, flush the pool, you know, and gone, right? So, <laughs> so if you want to get into gold and you're not in gold because you've been you've been holding your good old bit of coin, all right, I tell you what, traders. I tell you what, for the last twelve, probably last year and a half now, I've gotten so much flack from friends, from the YouTubes, from everywhere because I, I, I'm not in any cryptos right now. Actually, I've, I've actually never been in cryptos. I didn't. I'm not in any bit of coin. I'm in the gold. Right? I've been, I've been gold for quite some time. But um, you know, uh, the the worst thing you want to do is FOMO into into something that's already making big moves. Do not chase it. Wait for a pullback. Do not get into something after it's made big moves, right? Because you never know when the top is going to be. Just like we did back here. Look at this big move here. From this point here to this point here. Look what happened, right? And then guess what happened? And if we start to go vertical, like real vertical, you get generally get a sharp snap back first. So I don't know when this top's going to be in. I don't know when this when the pullback's going to happen, but it will happen. Wait for a bit of a pullback first and then try to jump in. If, this is a much better spot to look for an entry if you're not in gold yet, if you think it's going to go to 3,000, which I do. And by the way, traders, um, I, I see gold, the whole commodity cycle, guys, the whole commodity cycle, my long-term investments, this, my long-term investments right now 
have always been S and P five hundred. No, S and P five hundred is more like one or two year investment. Um, gold and the GDXJ. Those are my long term investments. This decade, right? We're going to see a big boom in the commodities. We're going to see a bust when the when the stock market crashes as well. And then on the other on the on the on the other on the other side on the on the second half of this decade, you watch the commodity prices go absolutely balmy because that's when inflation is really going to kick in. Inflation's not got, inflation's going to st- um, st- stabilize a bit, but you watch inflation's nothing now compared to what we're going to see at the end of this year. So that's where my long term investments are. The rest is just you know what I'm trading to make the money so I can so I can so I can pay the mortgage and uh. <laughs> you know, go bowling. <laughs> so that's what I'm seeing through there, Travis. Again, please do not chase the markets. Um, no FOMO. The best thing to do is that just to sit back and wait for really good opportunities. What's a good opportunity look like? Again, get your ass into my Master Trader membership, or if you want some coaching, contact me and or something like that. But just go at least know what you're looking for. Okay. When I'm trading the markets for intraday basis and for income, I have a system. I follow a system instead of rules that helps me kick ass, take names, and kiss babies. Hey traders, I'm giving away 100% free access to my brand new breakthrough full trading course. This is eight videos over 10 hours of pure, amazing, and powerful strategies. This is my most powerful systems of strategies that I've used for the last 16 years, and I'm giving it away for free. So this is what I want you to do right now. I want you to go to johnsfreegift.com, or well, there should be a link around here somewhere, a button or in the description or somewhere in there. Click on that and you can go get free access to my brand new uh, breakthrough trading course. So go to johnsfreegift.com right now. Go to that right now, guys. You can get full, complete, free membership access. Go do that right now.